hi guys how are you doing and i can't believe i am already in what 60s tutorials okay uh, and i would say that i am pretty much what boosted just like when i started like the first video because c programming is what it's not bad at all it's an awesome programming so i hope you guys are also enthusiastic to learn it and in this video i like to talk about get care and put care functions okay is a very easy so just what we have to do is uh, suppose I create a, a character and now mm, I like uh, tell the user to enter something enter a character and then now if we use get care print wait when you use a get care what will happen is it will take the character but you have to store it in somewhere so now you use this word alright use this character variable to store that what we got and now if you want to print that print it alright some problem use a comma hmm. now if we enter any particular character like G it will print the G so what it will do what it's doing is uh, we are entering a character it's storing the character using get character in the character variable and it's printing now you can either use printf to print the character as uh, use just directly put care to print out the entered character okay you can use any one of those it's fine mm, now if you enter d it'll print d now how to use this get character efficiently is uh, using a loop at least like mm, use a loop and then put a condition like uh, while character equal to get care this hole is not equal to new line hmm. now what this will do is I'll tell you what this will do uh, I'll just put care ch hmm. now what this will do is a uh, I'm equating the get care function to CH here and then I'm closing the braces and then I'm equating I'm using relational operations here to check if it is not equal to what back backslash n. What this means is uh, if we enter into a new line then it won't enter here. If it is not this backslash and new line symbol it will enter here and print. So let's see what this will do is what it will do is uh, if you entered a whole bunch of string then it will take the whole string and then it will give us output the same string okay until and unless we enter into a new line we can enter into a new line by pressing enter so if we enter into a new line it will come out of the loop and it won't print it will exit the program so you can print a string using this while loop and using put character and get character okay I hope you guys understood it. What we're doing here is checking out if what we are entering is going to new line or not. If it is going to the new line, then just come up with the loop or else just print whatever the user is entering, inputting. Okay, and that's it for today's tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe.